In this video we're going to be looking at Office 2010. It's a prototype, it's not a final release, so I don't expect it to work absolutely flawlessly, but we can look at it anyway. We're going to be focusing on the main products here. We're not going to be looking at Visio or Project. We can come back to these at a later date, but for now, let's have a look at the main office. I'll just download it. So now we'll look at the installation process, it is downloaded now. At the moment it looks the same as um, Office 2007. Let's click customize and see what options we've got. It's the same old stuff that you'd expect to find in any version of Office. Obviously there's more stuff now, but I'm not going to be looking at Outlook in this video. Let's click Install. This will probably take several minutes, but so far it's, it's still easy to use. It's a lot like 2007's install process. Right, let's take a look. It's installed now. There's the office products. We'll start by launching Word. So far it looks a lot like 2007 to me. Oh, you can minimize the ribbon. That's nice. Oh, they put file there. Now that's going to that's going to help a lot of people, I think, because I've noticed a lot of people wondered where the file menu was with 2007. This is Microsoft Word version 14 this is running on Windows Server 2008 R2 publisher this is a lot this is a lot nicer than the older versions I never played with publisher 2007 but it looks a lot simpler to do things this way yeah I like it We've got PowerPoint. Not really a PowerPoint user myself, but the ribbon does make it look a lot easier than it would have been before. OneNote. I've never ever used OneNote before. It actually looks to be quite good. I'll have to give that one a try. Excel. Good old Excel. I'm going to actually have to use this. I think I'm going to get on with it just fine. It looks really nice. Access. Again, access looks a lot more, a lot nicer this way. Yeah, definitely. I think it, it's nicer to have a good UI. It really makes the experience of using the program better, and it want, it makes you want to use it more. Like Visual Studio, it's absolutely brilliant. If you've got a nice program, or in the case of Visual Studio, if you've got a nice IDE, it's really nice to have something good like that because it really encourages you to use it more and more and more. Because this this is brilliant at the moment. I'm impressed. And we got all this stuff. Here's something I want to talk about. Send a smiley. If you have a positive experience with Office, you have to tell them here. Then you click submit. I guess this is a nicer way of sending feedback. And then that one is send a frown. So if you have a bad experience with a prototype, I guess you tell them there. But yeah, that was a quick overview of Office 2010. I will give a more in-depth one in the new year. Apart from that, happy holidays, happy new year, and I'll see you in the next video.